Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. And I do wig reviews and have wig chats and I just kind of talk a lot about the wig life. And today I'm here to bring you a color spotlight. I would like to spotlight for you today the John Renault color 6F27, also known as Caramel Ribbon. And I am spotlighting this color in three different hairstyles. One is a human hair wig, one is a synthetic wig, and one is a heat friendly synthetic wig. So if you're curious how 6F27 looks different among these three different types of hair fibers, then stick around. You will want to see this video. So let me just get into how this all came about. So the first uh, wig that I ever had in this color is John Renault. Actually, I may have had another wig in this color, but the one that I love and that I still have and that I wear all the time is John Renault Ignite. Ignite is a heat friendly synthetic and is really one of my favorite, not only my favorite wigs, but the color is one of my favorite colors. And I just fell in love with it. So when I had an opportunity to purchase a carry, which is a heat as a human hair wig by John Renault in this color, I jumped on it because I love the color. But when I got the carry out of the box, I was actually very disappointed. The color is so incredibly different from my Ignite. I was really, really surprised. And so that led me to start doing some research into human hair wigs versus synthetic wigs and how the color takes differently in these. And I learned that there are dramatic differences between the fibers, even sometimes between regular synthetic and heat friendly synthetic and how the color pulls and how it, how it reflects. And John Renault actually has a video on this and they compare all of their California blondes between human hair and synthetic wigs. And kind of the bottom line that they shared in their video was that synthetic will, um, the color will be more dynamic. There will be more uh, kind of highlighting and more differences between the two and the rooting tends to be a little bit darker and more dramatic if it's a rooted piece versus a, a human hair version of the same color is going to be a lot more blended with less dramatic a gradation between the highlighted the you know base color and the highlight colors and the rooting is a lot more natural and not quite as a dramatic difference and so I found that to be really really interesting and I am finding that to be true with this particular color and so first of all I'd like to break down the color for you let me grab my phone here I want to refer you to a color index that I have created if you haven't already gone there. I have a website, it's um, heywigsister.com, and I have a post in the resources center of uh, uh, the resources section about color. And I have two documents linked in that. One of them is a color index where I break down all the color codes and all of the different color names. And I'm constantly adding to it as I learn more and as manufacturers develop new colors. But I also have a brand color index, which is uh, has it's a spread an Excel spreadsheet with tabs on the bottom, and each manufacturer, at least the ones that I found color information for, has its own tab, and then it will break down. So on that one, I have 6F27 listed under the John Renault tab, and the way that they describe caramel ribbon is a brown with light red, golden blonde highlights and tips. So let me show you the one that started it all for me, my love affair with this color, Ignite. And after the beginning part of this video where I actually hold up these wigs for you, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm just going to show you all of them side by side so you can really see the dramatic difference between the synthetics and the human hair. So first of all, this is Ignite and it's it's one of my all-time favorite wigs. Like I said, this is a heat-friendly piece. The colors in this one are pretty close to the regular synthetic, which I have Minka in that color, but there are some subtle differences, which I hope to be able to show you in this video. So here's the color, and you can see how they describe it. So first of all, the six. A six is a, a medium dark brown, so the brunettes go from a two 
through a 12. Those, that's the brunette range of the color code listings. So a six is a medium dark brown. So the base is a six. And then you've got the 27, 6F27. And the set 27 is sort of the strawberry blonde, lightest auburn. I would say that on this piece here, the 27 pulls very much like a very light auburn, not really a strawberry blonde. I wouldn't consider this a strawberry blonde. I also wouldn't consider this in the blonde family at all. As you can see, that 27 is sort of highlighted through, kind of tipped and highlighted through, but the base of a six is very prevalent. So I would consider this a medium dark brunette that's heavily highlighted with auburn. You can see that very heavily highlighted. Especially up here in the front. And I do have a review of Ignite if you'd like to watch that review. So now I'm going to grab for you the other synthetic. This is Minka. So you, there's always going to be a little bit of a difference when you've got such a dramatic difference in length. And I didn't have a 6F27 in a longer wig or in a shorter one. So we're stuck with what we've got. But so here's Minka. And I would say the biggest difference between these is the depth of the six. I would say the six looks a lot darker in the regular synthetic than it does in the heat friendly. Overall, the heat friendly pulls a lot more of the auburn and that highlighting is a lot more heavy-handed than in Minka. I'm trying to, you know, than that. So I, you'll get to see these side by side on the table in just a second, so you can really tell. But as I'm looking at them here, very dramatic difference. And now I'm going to show you Carrie, and this might just blow you away. It's so different. So here's Carrie. This is the human hair piece. You really can't see that six. Now let's compare them. Look at that. They don't look like the same color at all. It's really, really dramatic. So you can see why I was just a little bit disappointed when I pulled Carrie out of the box. All right, so let me get this camera flipped around so I can show you what they look like side by side without all of the, the finagling that I'm doing. Hang on. All right, everybody, so here we are with all of the wigs side by side, and here you can really see how dramatic that difference is. So we've got the human hair over here, and we've got the regular synthetic, and then we've got the heat-friendly synthetic. And as I'm looking at the wigs, you know, obviously I have, we have challenges in making these videos. The lighting is going to be a challenge, you know, setting up the lighting when you're not a professional to know, to make sure I'm trying to pull them true. That's a bit of a challenge, but then you've also got the, the monitor you may be using. So let's just do the best we can with what we've got. But I can tell you, um, so the heat friendly right here, this one is really, um, less rich looking than the regular synthetic. So this, the, 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 the difference in the colors is, is more muted. The six brunette in this right here is a lot more chocolatey, a lot richer than it is in the heat friendly. And then you've got carry over here where you can barely tell that it has that rich six in it. It's definitely not a flat color. You know, there's no question there's more than one shade or tone in here, but you just really can't see that dark. So that's where my disappointment came in. I love the dynamic nature of 6F27. I love how rich it is. I actually really like how it looks in the regular synthetic, even compared to the heat friendly. It just is so rich and dynamic and beautiful. 
And this one, in order for me to achieve a look that's similar to this, I would have to take this to a stylist and have them put some dark, darker chocolate low lights in this one and to try to pull that out. So that's just the 6F27 I wanted to show you guys here. So we've got heat friendly, a little bit more muted, still really beautiful, but not super chocolatey and kind of warm. I would say that the brown in this one is more ashy in tone. It's more of a neutral six versus this one is much more of a warm six, a lot more chocolatey and rich and then barely noticeable in the human hair version. So I hope this was helpful for you guys to see these and to learn a little bit about the differences between human hair and synthetic. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see if I can get you guys an outside look at these three real quick here at the end. All right, here we are outside. We've actually got some really diffuse sunlight on these guys, which I think is helping a ton. So you've got your Ignite in the heat friendly synthetic on the left in the short style. You've got the regular synthetic on Minka, and that's the middle, and Carrie on the end in the human hair. And again, all the same color, but you can see how different it really looks. I don't know if I put these really close, can you see how the synthetic just isn't as, or the heat friendly, just isn't as rich. It's starting to pull a little closer to the human hair as we start to get into that heat friendly synthetic. And then you come over here and just look at that. Such a different dynamic between those. Let me grab Ignite and let's get those two. Yeah, can you tell? This is the, the brown in that, the six, is much ashier, much more muted. Not as rich. So it's almost like you go from depth and richness in the regular synthetic and much more contrast between them into the heat friendly, which is muted, less contrast, a little bit ashier, and then you got the human hair. I hope this was helpful. To me, this is like gold. <laughs> Just being able to learn this stuff is awesome. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Please like if this was helpful to you guys. If you find this kind of content useful, um, liking it, commenting on it and subscribing helps my channel more than you will ever know and I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys soon.